the fig tree is really in rough shape. We've cut it back, cut off some major limbs, and it has limbs that die. And now it's messing up during the middle of the season. It's getting out some figs, and then other figs just stay real small, and they never mature. So uh, I think this is a this fig tree is, has had it. I think it's time to go ahead and just cut it down. But I really like the figs off of it. They're great. So what I really want to do is I want to try and propagate some of the figs off of this. I've watched some other vi videos on this. I've never propagated figs before. So this is a new experience for me. And I'm really looking forward to it because we love these figs. I'm taking a, a section here. Cut the limbs back off of it. Or the leaves. I have several joints right here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut this one off right here. And uh, that gives me a uh, uh, cup three joints right there. I'm going to put this uh, in some rooting powder uh, and then put it in some dirt. I've seen some videos on it and watch the, the roots grow on it and we'll see where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and cut several more because I really want to and I don't know how well this is going to work. another one so I get one a little closer down to the ground oh look at that that looks good I'll go ahead and cut this one off right there like that yeah I'm gonna cut several of these probably five or six well it's been two weeks since I've made my cuttings and put the little rooting powder on there and put them in this with a little bit of a dirt all I did was just lay them in there and just covered up the ends on one end because I wanted the roots to come out in the, under the buried end. But look at the leaves. I'm really impressed with that. These figs have just taken off two weeks. That's all it's been. And look at all the roots right there. So what have I been doing with this? I cut them. I put them in the dirt, buried at a little bit of an angle. And then I just come in uh, every couple of days and put a little bit of water on the roots, just like this, just right there on the roots. And then, you know, just cover it back up. But I'm not covering it all the way. I'm covering it about like that because I want it to have some air coming through. I don't want it to start to mold inside. <laughs> but it has been, but it has been two weeks now. I think it's time to take these out and put them in a pot. You can see the tray that I'm using here. All right, this is a tray that has the, the water bottom to it. And it has the holders in here with um, the holes in the bottom. And in addition, um, I don't have the proper pieces to go in there because these, they want like $5 a piece when you buy them from the, from the stores, you know, with a plant in there. And I don't, I'm not one of those that wants to spend that much on those. Now I've got these uh, plastic cups here. This is the 18 ounce size and they fit in there pretty well, just like that. You can see I've drilled four half inch holes in the bottom of each one of them. I, I should do just as well as the ones that come from the, the plant farm, from the nursery. So, I think what I want to do, get over here, if I can straddle this. I think what I want to do is try and conserve as much. That one doesn't really have any roots showing on it for some reason. But it's growing pretty well. Surprised that one doesn't have any root. I'm going to go ahead, take some of this dirt. Put in there because that's what it's familiar with. Then I'm going to add in some of my garden dirt from the top of my raised bed, and sort of press it down. Wow, some of these really have a lot of root. Look at this one; it's gone crazy, huh? Do the same thing for it in another cup. Some of this dirt in there. Put it in and put some of this raised bed dirt in there press it down a little bit do another one that one's got some pretty good root too the same way I'm trying to do all these exactly the same oh man this one doesn't hardly have any leaves at all but look at the root structure on it 
that one's really taken off some of the dirt that it's used to stick it in there some of this in there with it press it in this one no roots showing on it either so i guess we'll just have to see how these do i was really hoping that all these would have a lot of really good root on there because the ones that i could see that had root on there the root was really looking really nice tap it in there just a little bit and one more now this one i thought something was really strange about it. the leaves growing upside down then i realized i put it in upside down i'll try it anyway i'll just reverse it over and see if it works we'll see what this looks like in a little bit we've got about six more weeks before the first frost but i'm going to keep these in a protected area as much as i can this one's going to take a little extra work there to make it work right. Get that leaf up where the leaf can see some something to do some photosynthesis. All right, I'm going to see how this works. Wet them down some. Let them soak up some water pretty well. If I put too much water in, it doesn't matter. I have an overflow tray in the bottom. But I want to make sure that they get all the water that they need. Yeah, I'm really surprised that... Uh, all of them don't have the same amount of uh, root. But that's why I planted extra. All I really wanted to get out of this was two because my fig tree is in such bad shape. I'm going to cut it way back or maybe cut it off just about completely to the ground this year. And I'm going to plant these in a different location. I want to make sure that the water that I'm putting on there soaks all the way through to the bottom. These fig rootings haven't seen any sunlight at all since I started the rooting two weeks ago. Um, because I did that in the garage and I kept them in the container uh, in the garage. And I kept the container a little bit open because I didn't want it to start to mildew and mold on the inside. Uh, this one, obviously, I put in upside down. Uh, the leaf was trying to grow last on it. It was trying to grow in the wrong direction. So I flipped it over. Hopefully, it'll save itself uh, in the new transplant here. Um, also, all I really want to get out of these is two because I want them uh, to plant two new fig trees. And these are cuttings off of my existing fig tree, which is in really bad shape. So let's see how this works. Uh, most of these things that we do, the most of these things that I try to do are experiments where I've seen something else or I get an idea. I say, I want to try this or that. And this is my first time trying to root fig trees. And I'm really impressed with how easy the leaves come up and how fast the roots came up on some of these. Let's see how they look uh, just before we get our first frost. Well, they've been sitting out here in the sun for a week or a partial sun, mostly in the shade, but they've been outdoors for a solid week now. And I tell you what, I'm really, really impressed. Two weeks of making roots, then I potted them in these little cups, and now they've been out here for a week and they are doing really, really well. Well, except for that one that I planted upside down. But all I really want out of this is two good ones, so I'll pick out the two best ones for my two new fig trees.